the truth behind this ghost story is... Yeah. I was using it because it's so handy. And you put people in here this way? Not at all. You're the first person I've ever been in here with. What about the part with the abduction to another world? I don't even know where that is. I think the rumor has evolved on its own. Uh, uh, please, don't move so much. But there isn't any room. W wait, I know, but I'm touching your... It's okay, as long as it's you. No, it's not okay! Oh, you don't want to touch me? Th that's not the point here. I like being touched by you. <sighs> You're the only one who ever touches me this way. You, Koso. Other people don't notice when I touch them. They don't hear me when I speak to them. They don't even try to see me. My existence, my actions... Everything is beyond the perception of living human beings. It's like I'm not even here. No one pays any attention to me. You must be lonely, huh? Lonely? You mean you aren't lonely? I don't know. I don't really understand lonely. Huh? But I... I do understand happy. Yuko-san. It's not that I dislike touching you or anything. It's just a little embarrassing. Thank you, Taichiku. But that's... Huh? Huh? I know. If she's a ghost, I can't touch her. If she's a ghost... I can touch her? Ah! Ah! I'm so sorry! I just thought if you were a ghost, I couldn't touch you! Just because you can touch me doesn't guarantee that I'm not a ghost, silly. But isn't that irrelevant anyway? Huh? I really don't remember anything about my death. I just know I'm here now. Uh. I have no memories of my past. You don't? I don't know when or why I died. But I don't have any regrets or grudges. I can't remember. And I don't really want to find out. And that's why what I am doesn't matter. I hope you understand. <sighs> My name is Yuko. Huh? Yuko Kanoe. And you are? Teichi. Teichi Nia. Taichi kun, huh? That's a really cute name. Wait, didn't she already know my name? Yuko-san, you really aren't interested in finding out uh, about your death, I mean. Well now, so you have accepted the fact that I'm a ghost. No, that's not really what I meant. Ah, I think I get it now. You're curious about me, aren't you? <sighs> Very well, shall I show you? Huh? I just we thought I'd show you the uniform from my time, off? that's all. Since you're a ghost, can't you just change your appearance, like, instantly or something? How could I do that? I'm not magic. I can't do anything that you can't do. Really? So, uh, that's how it works. Huh? huh. Uh. Ah, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, sorry, sorry! You're funny. Did I tell you that you couldn't look? Uh, isn't it embarrassing, though? It's not like my body is actually here, you know. It's done! What do you think? Do you like it? This is the uniform I was wearing before my death. <laughs> I guess it does kind of suit you better. Are you saying that I'm an old-fashioned woman? That's not what I meant. A anyway, why are you hanging on to me like that? It's just so nice, being able to touch someone like this. I wonder why that is. <laughs> Whoa, what are you... For the time being, let me do what I want. Soon enough, I'm sure you won't be able to even see me anymore. Huh? What do you mean? I'm an illusion you're seeing. A ghost story just isn't enough. That's not reality. I don't really understand, but... Is there anything you can do to keep things this way? <laughs> Let's see. Maybe something like this? Mwah. Uh, are you teasing me? Yep. 
Well, stop it then. Oh, come on. You know you liked it. Well, what do you think? Did that kiss make me unforgettable? I feel more like I'm being haunted. That's mean. But you wouldn't actually do anything like that, would you? A long time ago, there was a story that used to be told. Huh? There was a young girl who died on the school grounds. That death was slow and painful, and as a result, the area around the school was cursed. To this day, her whereabouts remain unknown, and she continues to slumber here somewhere. So do you think that story is about you? Sometimes I wonder. Huh. But if the story really is about her, that means she might be locked away somewhere on the campus. Hold on. What is this? I thought I'd start a club like a good student would. You go on. I kind of started to think I'd like to know more about myself, you know? <laughs> You'll help me, right? I mean, you did look at my most private places. Oh, come on! It seems like Yuko-san did end up haunting me. Well, I guess, in a way. The private school, Seikyo Academy, was constructed over the remains of the mountaintop shrine. At first, it was a small mountain village, but after the mining industry developed, it grew in size very quickly. To accommodate the sudden increase of students, the school underwent... <laughs> Taichi-kun, what are you reading? I thought that if I researched some of the school's history and then told it to you, then maybe your memory would come back. We don't have any other leads, so it's worth a shot at least. Taichi-kun, you pervert! Huh? Can't you stop thinking about my body? I bet you were considering sneaking in for another look. What? Why would I... But that's gonna have to wait. At least until you're an adult. Th hey, that's <laughs> dangerous! Your eyesight really kind of stinks. Oh, watch oh, out! Oh, I, ah. oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay? <sighs> Would you like to touch them? No, 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 no. Taichi, if you harbor dirty thoughts, you shouldn't touch a girl. What? No. Right? But you, Kosan. What haunting is an evil spirit? I can't believe that she's an evil spirit. Huh? So, Taichi... Uh, Yuko-san! Close! Close! Uh, I'm close, sorry. Close, I'm not used no, to being please. seen, so I forgot. <laughs> but I think it embarrasses me a little that you get so embarrassed. You know? If this is the case, then please put some clothes on! Why didn't you come to the club room today? Huh? Uh, no reason, really. I was just running a little late, that's all. I kept getting this bad feeling because I heard a weird story. Uh, what do you mean? It was some kind of ghost story. Huh? About people disappearing. Ghosts that haunt students and drag them away. So I got <gasps> this bad feeling that you were going away. Uh. Hey, Taichi-kun, would you mind telling me what I look like when you look at me? What? Please tell me. Why are you asking me this? <laughs> My hair? Well, it's long and black. My skin? It's white. My face? My eyes? Uh, your face... <laughs> I'm happy, because that's the same as what I see in the mirror. You see me the same way. You really see me. Yuko-san. Please stay with me. Forever. I got you. You took... You took Taichi-kun from me. I'll never forgive you. <laughs> She's gone. 
look. <laughs> Why won't you look at me? <laughs> oh, I see. I'm sure I look horrible now, don't I? I really was very happy. Before, I was constantly alone, doing nothing at all. But you changed that. I enjoyed each day with you. And I was so happy that you were able to accept me. I got spoiled and started wishing we could go on this way forever. I never needed to know the truth about myself. In reality, maybe I am a scary monster. I'm sorry. You must have been so scared. Can you even hear me talking to you anymore? Goodbye, Taichiku. Thank you. You made me happy. So happy. You're right. I was scared. I was afraid of finding out the truth. I tried to tell myself that I wasn't scared by pretending not to see. I'm a coward. I'm sorry. But the Yuko-san that I know, her hair is black and long and straight. Her skin is so white it almost shines. Her eyes are almond-shaped and her build is tall and slender. That is my Yuko-san. Daichi-kun. But there's uh, more. Huh? If we're going to move on, I need to examine your body more closely. That's why right now, I'm going to look at your remains in the basement. Uh, no! No! You can't just go and look! First, I need to work up my courage! I want to see them right now. I want to see all of you. I guess if that's what you really want to do, I can't say no. Why do you tease me like this? Excuse me. Taichi-kun. Idiot. What, huh? Why did you leave me alone for so long? Uh, oh, but, well, I was on summer break. And now that you're finally back, all you do is play with the others. Uh, you didn't even uh, mention my bathing suit. You don't care about me at all. Uh, Idiot. I'm sorry. Don't you get it? You're the only one I have. I know, I'm sorry. Oh, but I wouldn't say that. I, there's Kitty san too. I mean, she can also see you just like me. I don't like that girl. She's just mean. She sees me, but she won't touch me. Uh, Yuko-san? Taichi-kun? Please touch me. <coughs> I haven't been touched in so long. But it's... it's always me who seems to be touching you. you yuko san After all, you were the first one who touched me. I, is that right? Touch me anywhere. Anywhere you want. Uh, you can even touch me where you did the first time. Then, uh, uh, I'll touch your hand. My hand? I guess you don't remember then. What? what do you mean? <laughs> nope, you missed your chance. Huh? Chance for what? The hand is fine. Please take my hand. said ghosts weren't able to sleep. I don't sleep. But I like sleeping with you. <laughs> Let's go outside. Huh? At this hour? Uh, uh. After sundown, it can get really cold outside. 
Because the school's on a mountain, even oh. summer can get chilly. <laughs> Sorry for the wait. Why are those two sneaking out? What are... what... I guess a normal guy couldn't ignore her. What does she have that I don't? Her breasts. I should stop. It's not like thinking about it will change anything. Maybe I should grow my hair out. So where are we going anyway? Have you heard about the Stone of Curses? The Stone of Curses? If you write the name of a person you hate on this stone, they'll be cursed and die. But if you find your own name inscribed on the stone, you will be cursed and die. They claim that such a stone is at this school. Look here! In the courtyard of the old school wing. They say a teacher here discovered the stone, but that teacher was targeted by the stone's curse. Huh? It says he quit his job here to escape the curse. That's what this log entry says, anyway. The tale of the stone of curses. Wanna check it out? Do we have to right now? Can't we do it tomorrow? Nope. I want to find out now. Uh, Come on, let's uh, go. <laughs> the new part. From there you can get to the next building. It's beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Come on! This way! Yugo-san, watch out! Yuko-san! I'm just teasing. The roof of the next building, huh? Over here! Yuko-san, hey, hold on! Now this way. Uh, how do we get out of here? Looks like this is a dead end. Huh? <laughs> I just wanted to come here. So we have to use the window again? You can only get in there through the window. This is the Old Wing's courtyard. This is it, huh? This place is weird. All surrounded by hallways. According to the log, the Stone of Curses should be somewhere around... Hey! Oh. Is that the stone over there? Something is written on it. Are these all people's names? If you scratch someone's name into the stone, you can curse them. And if you find your own name written there, you become cursed and die. So this is the Stone of Curses. <gasps> What's the matter? There. It has my name on it. Is that me uncursed? Who would do this? What do I do now? Well, does that mean the curse is gonna kill me? <laughs> Woke me up just for this joke? Yep. Ha <laughs> ha. How do you feel? Like you'll die? I don't even know. Curses aren't actually real. Well, I guess feeling bad could in and of itself be considered a curse. You should swim, too. But... but I didn't bring my bathing suit. I bet the story from the log about the teacher's curse was only that. Projection. Maybe he had some reason to think someone would curse him. 
and he quit his job over such an intangible thing. People are funny. They don't see that they have the choice to believe in things or not. Even if the belief is merely subconscious. Believing in something can make it happen. I'm sorry. The Stone of Curses existed, but it was an excuse. <laughs> this is nice. Did you enjoy our walk tonight? I did. I wanted to show you another face of this school. I knew you would enjoy seeing it. Each time the sun rises, it's such a wonderful moment that it makes me believe it might never rise again. Strange, huh? Maybe I'm just weird, but I never considered this before. The nights always pass so fast. Yoko-san. Once again, it's thanks to you, because you're the one who noticed me after all. Thank you. Thank you.